What is up fam? YouTube, how is it going? Today is Friday, December 30th, 2016 is almost over. So I'm trying to get out as many of these unboxings as I can before the end of the year. You know I'm grinding for you guys. And with that, I can promise you there will be one more unboxing before the end of the year. Tomorrow, special New Year's Eve unboxing. I cannot wait. Let's just say the theme for tomorrow's unboxing will be Adidas Consortium and, well, the New Year, but not the U.S. New Year. You feel me? But first, a little bit of business. Please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already. Like and comment on these videos. It means a lot to me. And also, there's only two days left in our first channel contest. So please click that link to the form down there in the description and join. I've got a lot of stickers to give away. Tons of these Supreme Box logos. A bunch from other vendors. And maybe a few from this channel as well. Alright, so that is it. Let's get into these unboxings. It's been a great 2016. I've got some excellent things planned for 2017. Let's eat, fam. These first two boxes come from Livestock in Canada, and uh, they're both related to the same release. Adidas did a collaboration with a Japanese fashion brand, Bedouin and the Heartbreakers, and the result was two NMD R1s. There was like a black and gray and a gray and white. The uppers of the R1s had like a pinstripe pattern, which if you watch this channel, you know I'm not a big fan of Adidas's pinstripe patterns. However, I do really admire the brand Bedwood and the Heartbreakers. They kind of have a modern Japanese take on a lot of traditional American menswear staples. I know I've seen some of their leather motorcycle jackets or varsity jackets, things like that that I really liked. So I thought I'd at least give these a try and of course document it for you, my subscribers. This first product ID is BB3123 and it looks like these are the gray and white version. Now these NMDs do just have a simple mesh upper. You may be thinking, why bother? But they have some very nice little details, which I think will come through when I show you these up close. Box number two is also from Livestock Canada. These sneakers were pretty easy to come by if you watched your Twitter timeline. They have restocked many times and also, the resale value really isn't that high on these. You definitely shouldn't pay much over retail for these. $150 to $200 at the most. The next product ID is BB3124. And I'm guessing these must be... Same sort of pinstripe pattern here. The three stripes now instead of white are a very dark black. Otherwise, a lot of the same little details and touches I'll show you up close here in just a minute after I finish this last package. So a couple weeks ago, I showed you a sneaker on here. I think it was called the Y3 Approach and it was basically an all-weather Ultra Boost. Really high sock liner, much higher than that Kith Ultra Boost. So if that's a mid, this is like an extra high sky top. I felt like Billy Hoyle or something wearing these things. My name ain't Chump, it's Billy Hoyle. And I said on here it was the best outdoor Ultra Boost around. I think I found a new contender. So this package is from Slam Jam Socialism and it's another Y3 sneaker. Uh, however, this is much more like a boot. In addition to the footwear, I did also pick up this Superfly Human Race tank top. Some nice color blocking on there. The top is all light gray mesh. The bottom is a navy cotton. Get the nice flags patch there. Got the 2016 across the chest there in that 3M. Got some 3M three stripes down either side 
and then that cool world logo and some kanji characters in red there on the back. Pretty cool piece, it was half off, so wasn't a whole lot of money. Honestly, it looks a little bit small, so we'll see. I might be busting out of this thing or something. Okay, and now let's get to the sneakers. These are product ID BA7831. Now these boots look like something a ninja would wear. Wow. When I first saw these, I thought they looked absolutely crazy and I wanted them. I think these retail for like close to $400 US. I wasn't going to pay that. Um, I did get these half off and I think they were already marked down before that actually. I thought they looked like a great winter boot. Still kind of sporty, but with this all neoprene upper I thought these are sure to keep me warm and dry. And then that outsole and this tread pattern, uh, it looks like it could conquer anything. Plus these do have full boost, uh, you can see there is a little bit of boost here in the forefoot, see it poking out there. And then of course the much larger boost cushioning is in the heel. Really thought the lacing system was cool. Love this ankle strap at the top, but what really sold it for me is definitely the zipper to access these at the back. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything we unboxed today in more detail. Fam, we are going to take a look at these Bedwin and the Heartbreakers Adidas Collab NMD R1. Let's take a look at the gray version first. Give you a quick 360. Bam, bam, bam. So as I said, Bedwin and the Heartbreakers, Japanese fashion brand been around a little over a decade I think. They're really well known for kind of their take on traditional American menswear and so I think that's why we got this kind of pinstripe pattern. You know this looks like something that you'd find on a suit or something like that more so than a sneaker. So kind of unusual. Gives these a little bit dressier appearance I suppose. Uh, this upper, you do have that mesh lining inside the sneaker as you would any of the other NMD R1 mesh models. This outside though, it's a little bit different. It's not like a circle mesh or anything like that. It's more of just a woven fabric. Does not appear to be wool. Not really a canvas. I don't know how to describe it. It's just just a woven fabric, but you can see the pinstripe pattern woven in there. Uh, this is the gray with the white pinstriping. And then those white accents, they're also carried out to our plugs, both in the forefoot and heel on either side. Our three stripes as well get that white treatment. Our three stripes, the way that they're stitched on there, really kind of gives a uh, tailored craftsman-like appearance. We do have an Adidas Originals Bedouin and the Heartbreakers patch. The Bedouin and the Heartbreakers branding continues onto the back where we do find this branded heel pull. Standard rubber heel counter at the back. This is a gray, much like the rest of the shoe. The outsole is black with the gray insert. And on the inside, uh, we do have the glued on insole instead of our felt honeycomb. This one might be a little bit difficult to see, but it is the same as the tongue patch. It reads Adidas Originals by Bedouin and the Heartbreakers, paramount quality. Gray laces, gray lace eyelets, finish it off. And looking at the other model, it's very much the same. You again see the white pin striping woven in there, the dark laces and eyelets, the dark three stripes, again with that same cool stitching on there. The plugs actually retain that same creamy white color both at the heel and forefoot. Our tongue patch is identical to the gray pair. Same with our heel pull. Heel counter is now a dark black rubber. And our outsole is also all black with the black insert. 
finally at the insole again just as you'd expect the same except in black in white text so what do you think fam did you like this release did you not I know a lot of people slept on these and I mean I can see why they're not real flashy they're not real exciting but I still think they're nice sneakers I still think I'm gonna get some wear out of these maybe in situations that I wouldn't typically wear sneakers they are fairly dress casual so go ahead and smash that like button if you like these comment down below if you didn't let me know what your thoughts are then finally the Y3 Sport Trail X. I think that's what these are called. Look at that outsole, man. That's just nasty. Nasty. All right, let's get into this. I think these are actually going to be the ones I try on simply because I want to feel like some sort of ninja sent from the future to assassinate somebody. I don't know. These are crazy, guys. I mean, let's just start at the upper. This upper, though, is composed of all neoprene, so it's going to be very water resistant and very warm. The lacing system is just really cool. Um, you can see here at the forefoot, we have two little lacing systems on either side to really help lock the forefoot down. And then the other lace eyelets, uh, they actually go down into the upper. Some nice rope laces to uh, tie these all together. And then here at the ankle, uh, there is also a really nice Velcro strap to help ensure everything stays locked down. Here at the ankle, there's also a little bit of padding uh, so that your ankle doesn't get sore. And then here in the back, we again have this kind of hard vinyl heel counter and a much lighter, more plush vinyl section in the back of the sneaker. And that houses uh, this zipper, which the zipper pull you can see is just huge. It's like a handle, um, but there's the three stripes on there. And then uh, you just pull it down and the sneaker opens up and you can slide your foot right in. The zipper also has a bonded plastic piece on the top. So again, these are going to be pretty water resistant. This ankle strap also houses both our Adidas Bars logo and our Y3 branding. These do both look to be in a light reflective 3M, so very cool. Inside this boot, it's just kind of an all soft knit material looks very plush very comfortable can't wait to slide my foot in there at the bottom of the heel there's uh, what appear to be some little suede sections and then the midsole and outsole um, you can see that nice big boost cushioning in the heel you do get what appears to be full length boost cushioning uh, however i'm not really sure how thick this is or exactly where it's distributed we just know that there's some boost in the forefoot and uh, certainly what looks to be a much larger portion in the back. You can tell there's not much boost up here. All right, so that is the detailed look at this Y3 uh, Sport Trail X. What a mouthful. I think we're gonna have to put these on my feet next, so let's get to that. Right, so excited to try on these new Y3s. As with any Y3 on feet, now's the time when you start to hope and pray that these will actually fit you uh, because you just never know with Y3s. You really never know. These are a US size 11. I'm wearing some very thick socks. Y3s tend to run large, but as is with anything that's kind of winter geared, I sometimes err on the side of caution, knowing that I'm gonna wear thick socks with it. All right, that sounds means we are strapped up. These actually don't feel bad at all. Let's go ahead and get that second pair on. Tell you what though, these did not have the zipper on the back. 
I don't know how on earth you would get them on your foot. They are a tight fit. That neoprene, wow, very tight. Very warm too, oh man. I don't even have to tell you guys, wow. All right, fam, is this the ultimate cold weather boost? I think it has to be, right? The Y3 Sport Trail X. Let me tell you, size-wise, do not size down. I know I'm wearing thick socks, but my toe is close to the edge here. This neoprene does not give. It is a very snug fit. Man, I kind of like these. The cushioning, you know, there's, there's not much there. Um, I will be getting those Kith Trail Response uh, very, very soon. I think that's going to be about the same. It looks like the midsole on those is very similar to these. But hey, you know, I'll be sure to give you guys a full rundown, a full review. You know how I do, right? I'm still very impressed. Um, these are going to be great once it starts to get wet and gross out. These are going to be the perfect sneaker. And they, they do still feel like a sneaker. I mean, that outsole is, it's obviously very, very rigid. Um, but they're still pretty cushy and that upper is still very comfortable. So these don't feel like a hiking boot, despite the height of that ankle. What do you guys think? Go ahead and smash that like button if you like what these look like. Go ahead and comment if I'm crazy, if these look like absolute crap. I've got thick skin, I can take it. And whether you like these or don't, hit that subscribe button. Guys, I've got so much more content coming for you. It is going to make your head spin. So go ahead, subscribe. Ride this way with me in 2017. I've got so much for you guys. I can't wait to show you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a great 2016. Make next year even better. We'll see you real soon. Bye.